What is a plant? The definition of a plant has changed throughout time. One of the first definitions proposed by Aristotle was that plants do not move while animals move to catch their food. The modern definition of a plant, or land plant, is the following. Lives on land. Sexually reproduces. Conducts alternation of generations. Is photoautotrophic. Is a embryophyte. Has indeterminate growth. I'll now go through each of these and explain what they mean. Lives on land. The purpose of this is pretty much to exclude algae. Okay, next one. Sexually reproduces. This is when two or more individuals combine genetic information to create larger genetic diversity in a population. Why is this helpful? Because it can increase the resistance to a disease or create a new trait. Some plants conduct asexual reproduction. However, we know throughout time these asexually producing plants typically become extinct. Alternation of generations. This applies to the life cycle. And what this means is the number of copies of DNA changes throughout the life cycle. They change from haploid, one copy, this is also called gametophyte, to diploid, two copies, or sporophyte. In humans, the sperm and egg are the haploid portion, while the baby, or a person, is the diploid. Photoautotrope. Plants are different than animals because they can produce their own energy from the sun. They can do this because they have chloroplasts in them. Humans, animals, and fungi are heterotrophs. Hetero means other, and trope means nutrition. So we need to eat other things to get our nutrients. Embryophytes. This means plants protect their young, including their embryos. Indeterminate growth. When a seed is planted, it doesn't know what the final product will be. Different environmental factors can change what the tree looks like, different nutrition levels, on top of its genetic information. This is very different than animals or humans. Humans, our height or physical characteristics are pretty much genetically set and can be accelerated through proper nutrition and environment. We pretty much know what we're going to look like in our 20s. On top of this, if we were to lose a limb, we could not grow that limb back. That's why we have prosthetic arms. But plants can do that. How can they do this? How can they keep growing and how can they grow back portions of themselves? Well, they can do this because they have meristems. These are specialized types of cells, or I should say unspecialized types of cells. Every cell in your body has the DNA for every other cell. Your skin has the same amount of DNA and the same DNA as your eye or your liver cell. The difference is that they express the DNA differently. Some cells turn on different portions and turn off others, while some are the opposite. Meristem, or in human stem cells, do not have any of these genes turned on or off. They're undifferentiated. They're kind of just like newborn babies. They haven't specialized yet. Some types of plants, including grasses, are so highly adapted to becoming eaten, basically by cows or other animals, that they've adapted to this and they're constantly growing. Why do you have to mow your lawn? It's because grasses are so adapted that they keep on using their meristem and keep on growing new leaves. And that's why we have to mow our lawn. Now you know what makes up a plant and some interesting facts that go along.